Well, the Swamp Rabbits, they are back in Greenville ready for some more first round playoff action. The puck will drop in less than an hour. Ooh, so exciting. And Fox Carolina Sports Director Beth Bull joins us live from downtown Greenville. Beth, it looks cold in there, though. You know what? I keep telling you guys, those North Dakota roots, they're making me feel good, nice and comfortable here back right. inside a hockey arena. The fans have started to make their way in as well. And you know what? They always have those hockey jerseys, those sweaters to help keep them warm here uh, as they get ready to watch their Swamp Rabbits back in action. Game three with Jacksonville. Uh, this series is tied right now, a game apiece after Jacksonville was able to come back and even it up on Sunday uh, in a double overtime matchup with the Swamp Rabbits. Now, Jacksonville is touted for their defense, uh, but the Swamp Rabbits have scored on them really like nobody else has. Uh, four games in that first game of this series, and that's thanks in part, I'm told, to their fast start and their ability to dominate on the power play, and those were two areas that were missing in game two for the Swamp Rabbits, despite uh, taking the, the Jacksonville Iceman 1-1 into those double overtime periods. The difference now is that home ice for Greenville. You'd be surprised to know, though, that actually when it comes to matchups with Jacksonville, these two teams have reversed in that home ice advantage. Jacksonville went 5-1 and one at the well in the regular season here, while Greenville went 4-1 uh, down in Jacksonville in this series. But in talking to the team today, they've told me uh, that they are thrilled to be back in front of their home, home ice fans and think that they can really make a difference here on home ice tonight in Game 3. It's huge. Our fans are great. I mean, the attendance has been phenomenal this season. The energy in the bowl is great. Uh, our home record's awesome, and I, I know it's a direct result of that support and the guys just loving to play for this city and this community. This game plan still stays the same. We don't want to try to change too much. You know, we, we have what Lordo has set up for us and how we want to play, and if we stick to that, then, you know, we're happy with it. Now, Greenville uh, with Ryan Bednard in the net for them. You might remember that uh, the Kings called up the starting goaltender uh, for the Greenville Swamp Rabbits, but Bednard has been with the Swamp Rabbits before. He came back and joined the team again in December of this year, and he's really been playing well, owning the crease for the Swamp Rabbits. Uh, Stopping 55 of 58 shots uh, that he's seen uh, so far in these in this series with Jacksonville, and they're expecting plenty more uh, from him tonight as well. The Swamp Rabbits with an opportunity now, if they can win out from here, to win this series on home ice, something they would love to do, uh, a moment to celebrate with their fans heading in uh, to that second round of the Kelly Cup playoffs. Guys, again, the puck drops tonight at 7 o'clock. Uh, tickets still available if you want to come out and catch some playoff hockey. There's really, I promise you, nothing like a playoff hockey atmosphere. Plus, the physicality between these two teams is something you won't want to miss out on. Reporting live from the well uh, for Fox Carolina Sports, I'm Beth Poole.